Joe Douglas or Brian Gutenkunz? Gutenkunz with a significant lead at the moment, but could that turn this uh, this uh, chase around over the next five months, or could Aaron Rodgers turn that around? I should say. Oh, I think Brian Gutekunst is going to look pretty good. You do. I, you do. I would bet significantly on that. Do you think Joe I, Douglas has his job in uh, March of twenty five? I don't. I I think they are going to be a disaster, and you can clip this out. And if they're really good, fine. I'm happy to eat it. I think the Jets are the classic. Hey, look at the roster. Dream team. No, yeah, it does have that vibe to it. And nobody bothers to look at the fact that yeah, well, the quarterback's coming off an Achilles injury and he's 40, and Tyron Smith hasn't played more than 13 games in nine years, and Mike Williams is hurt every second of his life. Robert Sala has never proven he can coach as a head coach. Like, and Nathaniel Hackett is involved like, significantly in this team. And they're playing on the MetLife turf, which is not exactly great for injuries. And people just treat this like, oh, that's all fine. That's not a problem. So I got to tell you, I'm thinking it's a problem. I'm thinking it's you a talk about a name brand. No one benefits more right now in 2024 than Aaron Rodgers does right. because the luster is officially off of Deshaun Watson. But the last time Aaron Rodgers had a really great season was around about the time Deshaun Watson was still playing yes. really well, too. It's a long time ago. And as you say, 40, and everybody keeps making the Brady. Brady did it. Brady was singularly committed to being a football player. Uh, so, you know, so committed that it made him borderline weirdo. Aaron Rodgers has different <laughs> interests that make him a weirdo. It's a different kind of weirdo altogether. <laughs> 